Hi everybody, this is uh, Silvio Canto in Dallas, Texas on Sunday, February the 17th, and welcome to our video commentary. Well, to say that the Catholic Church is in a crisis, it's an understatement. I'm a cradle Catholic, uh, I'm a Catholic, I've been a Catholic all my life, but uh, you know, we, uh, our faith, our, our religion is in a deep crisis. And uh, I attended a, a seminar on Saturday morning uh, I listened to a presentation from a friend of mine who was dealing with his problem, and uh, yes, I think we we have a lot of answers. Uh, that, that we have a lot of questions, I should say, that we need answers for. Now, some of the behavior, of course, is self-inflicted. Uh, the trouble by these men who abuse children, that is, I mean, that is just, that's criminal. There's no other way to describe it. And I hope that those men are, are treated to the full extent of the law, and of, of course, uh, they face their own punishment uh, later on. But right now, those men have to be prosecuted, removed uh, immediately from the church for their behavior. The cover-up is also very troubling. I think that, in many ways, uh, is just as bad because the cover-up, as they say, sometimes is even worse than the crime, if that's possible in this case where you're talking about child abuse. And, and then you have a problem that I uniquely have, and that is... Uh, some of the things that Pope Francis from time to time will say, you know, it, it's a little bit difficult to uh, to follow the Pope when sometimes he sounds uh, like a left-wing nationalist from uh, Latin America, like Evo Morales or somebody like that. So it's a tough time to be a Catholic, but I think as I uh, continue to tell people that I'm not a Catholic because of the Pope. And I'm certainly not a Catholic because of a priest. I'm a Catholic because of values and things that I love and cherish about our faith. And that's really what we have to always come back to. There will be some bad people, as we've seen, uh, who serve as priests. And we may not always agree with the economic views of the Pope. But at the end of the day, what keeps us Catholic is the faith, the, the belief in Jesus Christ and the belief in the values of being a Catholic. Uh, so if you're a Catholic, uh, remember why you became a Catholic, not about the Pope, not about the priest, it's about the faith. And stick with it. I think we will get through these problems as we've had problems in, in other generations and uh, the church will be stronger after all of this. But I understand, I understand why many of you may be having, uh, maybe not second thoughts, but certainly thinking twice uh, and thinking very hard about what it is a Catholic these days, and maybe having to answer a few questions from friends who don't really understand what's happening in our church, and some of us don't understand it either, but uh, we have to, as I say, keep praying, uh, because I think that we will be stronger after all of this, but just remember that, uh, man, this is a tough time to be a Catholic, and I can certainly understand that. Well, thank you for watching. We have all of these on YouTube, we have them on Twitter, and we have them on blog. And if today is your birthday, happy birthday. Bye-bye, everybody.